Hello, hello, and welcome back to a car mechanic simulator at 2021 or just 21. Either way, we're back in it and uh, we're going to keep on continuing with the main storyline until we can get the junkyard available. Where the hell is it? We need level five for the junkyard. Okay. So I guess we will just continue working on the main storyline. Let's go ahead and get a, that phone. And we do have two separate ones, but we're just going to focus on the main storyline for now, just so we can get up our levels, right? So it looks like Joanna is calling us. She wants her oil changed as well as some other stuff. It probably she has some kind of tapping in the camshaft. Okay, cool. So we're going to be doing a little bit of engine work. Let's go ahead and take the order. Oh, like a little mini Cooper. What is it called? Mini Cooper, mini Cooper pooper. Anyway, uh, let's take it to the bay. Yep, car lift one. And I guess we will uh, not do... We have to drain the oil first, so let's do that. And if we're going to be pulling off the top end, we should probably get it emptied. Uh, let's take a look at the car status first, though. And especially this one here. Hi, my name's Joanna. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, she got a bunch of stuff. Okay, we're going to be doing a lot of engine work, coils. Okay, it looks like a bunch of uh, suspension work as well with the bushings. And she wants all of her fluids changed. Okay, easy enough. Uh, let's get under here, though. I'm just kidding. We're going to pull this over first. Uh, get it drained. There we go. Uh, she didn't have too bad of oil. It was either extremely low or this game just makes it really fast but let's push this over back over there let's drain the rest of the fluids all right we're gonna pull out our good old sucker and just start sucking all the fluids out right oh that must have been the coolant here's the windshield wiper fluid that first one was the power steering fluid uh where's that brake thing right here let's go and pull out the brake fluid now that should be all the fluids right the brake steering coolant and window sh windshields yeah yeah and then oh no no we oh yeah yeah we got it all we got it all i'm surprised they don't actually make us drain the coolant out of the bottom of the radiator because i don't think i've ever seen anybody suck it out with a tool anyway let's go ahead and get busy here um so if we look at her mission board repair parts with a minimum condition of 81 now that i believe that only means our parts have to be 81% and higher. But anyway, let's go ahead and start pulling off parts. Uh, let's get these ignition coils off first, or these uh, plugs or whatever. Let's go ahead and pull out the spark plugs. They're looking pretty disgusting. Well, that one was anyway. There we go. We got all those four out. Uh, let's kind of look over the engine. Do we have an engine yanker? You know what I'm talking about? Engine yanker? Is that what they call it? I don't think we do. I think we need to upgrade before we can pull the engine out. Yep, I don't see any engine uh, stands or whatever the hell they're called, right? Okay, okay. Looks like we're going to have to do all the work inside of the car. That is fine. That's fine. Okay, well, since we are doing all this work, let's pull off her oil no no you idiot what is it it's a freaking air filter let's get this air filter off take a look at the filter itself uh it looked like it was probably okay let's just see if we can install it it's definitely okay let's get the lid back on now this here filter cover it's at 78 percent. let's take a look at the status here okay she doesn't give a crap about that let's put that back on Okay, okay. Let's get back over here. Uh, let's take off this valve cover. There we go. There's that bad cam that she was talking about. Let's pull out the uh, master brake as well. I think that looked bad. Let's just see. Uh, 77. I don't know. Let's take a look at the damn thing here. No, nah, I don't think she gives a crap about that thing. Okay, let's just put it back on. There we go. Okay, let's grab off this camshaft. We're going to have to, uh, damn it, loosen all this, right? Yeah, 
Okay, there we go. Before we do that, though, we're gonna have to take off this uh, valve. Or no, no, I'm sorry. We're gonna have to take off this thing because we can't pull this out yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're gonna have to pull off uh, possibly this as well. So let's just pull this off. There we go. There we go. That looks like the old timing chain. Uh, let's see if we can get this off. There's that. There's the old cam. Uh, we can't get it off quite yet. Uh, we still have to pull off this side. So let's pull off. We're going to have to pull off the steering pump first. So let's get the steering pump off. And then we can pull off this timing cover. Just joking. We can't. We can't. Oh, man. We're going to have to pull off a lot of crap. Okay. That's fine. That's part of working on engines. Okay. Okay. Let's do it, though. Uh, get down here. Let's pull off the belt. Just kidding. We're going to have to loosen the, uh, yeah, this thing first. Now let's pull off the belt. There it is. Let's go ahead and grab this crank pulley. And then we should be able to grab the timing cover. Or I don't know what cover this is, honestly. I think the timing is on the other side, so I'm not too sure what the hell is under this thing. Uh, where's the other bolt, though? Up here. It's up here. Oh, wow. Check this thing out. This thing is a jacked up. Let's get this belt tensioner. We're going to grab this belt tensioner as well. Mm -hmm. Just kidding. We're going to get the belt first. And then we're going to grab this. And let's get this cam gear up top. There we go. And now the camshaft itself should come out. And it does. It does. Look at the beautiful valves in there. Tick, 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 tick. Open, close, open, close, open, close. You know what I mean? Anyway, what the hell is this? Oh, wait, what is this, by the way? Let's just take this off. And we're going to look at our inventory. Okay, so that's the time. Oh, it's serpentine belt. Oh, okay. I've never seen a... What the hell is the first belt? Oh, there's two different belts to this damn car. Gotcha. It's still considered a timing cover, even though it wasn't covering the timing chain. It was covering serpentine belt A. Let's take a look at the information sheet. We still have a bunch of parts we have not discovered. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Oil filter. Okay, we're going to have to pull that off. Okay, okay. Um, let's take a look and see if there's anything else that looks like it's really, really bad. I think the rest is going to be on the suspension. So let's rebuild this first. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch it on over and then just see how the parts look. 85%. That's going to be just fine. Uh, the camshaft obviously isn't. It's only at 20%. So what if we right click? Add it to the list. We're going to add that to the shopping list. Uh, let's go back to our inventory here. So we just added the camshaft. Let's go ahead and add the cam gear to the list. Wait, I don't think I did. What does right clicking do? I, I hear a noise, but I don't see anything. Okay. I can't, okay, okay. That's confusing. Where the hell's my shopping list? I can't even see it. Let's see what we got on our shopping list. Okay, we only... Okay, okay, we got it. Oh, okay. I did add three of them. Anyway. So I think if you right click, it adds it, and you also can hit the space bar. Anyway... Uh, we need a idle roller, serpentine belt, a belt tensioner. Uh, everything else in here looks good, except for two of the spark plugs that we took out. So we're going to add both of those two spark plugs. And we need one ignition coil. Okay, let's get these items first. We'll kind of rebuild this thing back together. Uh, and then kind of go from there and see what else is missing. But if we take a quick glance... This ECU might be bad, or I'm not too sure what part that is. Let's just take a look at it. It is an ECU, and it's good. Oh, yeah, the oil filter. Uh, can we get it from up here? Let's find out. We can't. We're going to have to lift it up to get that oil filter. Uh, that's fine. We can do that once we get to the... Uh, bottom half of the uh, car to do the running gear. Anyway, let's go ahead and order all these parts up real quick. 
Here's our shopping list. Let's get this camshaft for 250. Just one. Let's grab the cam gear. The idle roller. Serpentine belt, right? The belt tensioner. Uh, two spark plugs. There is no... Okay, excuse me. We're going to have to go to a different part. Same with the ignition coil. Let's get rid of the cam gear, though. The idle roller serpentine belt and that. And then we have to head over to the electronics store, I believe. Which is right here. Right here. Spark plug. We need a dose. And then we also just need one of these. Okay, there we go. Not too bad and not too shabby. Let's go ahead and get all this stuff put back on. Uh, we can delete these, by the way. And then we're going to switch to add parts and let's get rebuilding. We'll start with the old camshaft and then the cam gear. Beautiful, beautiful. Tighten that puppy up. Let's go ahead and get the idle roller. Actually, we did have a good one in there. I didn't even need to buy it. Damn it. We could use the old one, by the way. We're going to use the old one. Uh, it's above that 81% that she was talking about. Let's go ahead and put this belt back on. Uh, say here's the actual belt tensioner and then the cover okay let's put the pulley on and then this serpentine belt right it says it's 17 percent let's go ahead and see if serpentine belt was on the list i don't believe it is Oh, one of the serpentine belts were, but we knew that already because, yeah, we already knew that. Anyway, let's get this one on. It's already on. Uh, let's get this roller on. Oh, I see. We did need to use both. Anyway, let's get the power steering back on. And that's it for under here. Uh, let's go ahead and get these little, I don't know what you call them, camshaft caps. All right, there's all the camshaft caps. Caps. I don't know what the hell that noise was. It didn't tell me. Anyway, let's go ahead and put these spark plugs in. One, two. There we go. And the last one over here. 79%. I guess I could have just bought all four new spark plugs. That's okay. Uh, let's go ahead and get this cover on. All right. And then we got to swing over here. Uh, finish putting on this timing gear. Uh, it's a cam gear, rather. And then this little cover, right? Oh, this is the timing cover. I gotcha. There we go, there we go. Let's get the ignition coils in. Uh, mine doesn't go in individually. Mine is a big old freaking unit. Well, one of the cars on the Sonic. Uh, yeah, the Chevy Sonic. Anyway... That looks like that is everything. Let's just take a look at our inventory real quick. Yada, yada, yada. That looks like everything. Okay, excellent. Let's go ahead and lift her up. And let's start yanking off tires. If we take a look at the book here. Uh, yeah, so there's brake pads. What are you talking about, bro? I freaking replaced the ignition coil. Oh, you bastard. Uh, we might have to take a look at those ignition coils again. Let's grab... Uh, this oil filter, however, there we go. And if we look at that oil filter, yeah, it's at 65%. Okay, we're going to have to figure out what went wrong up top uh, with the ignition coil. But if we look at our inventory, we replaced that bad one. So I think the problem was we replaced it with technically a good ignition coil, but it was below the 81%. And that's what I don't like about this damn game. Anyway, anyway, let's pull off the tires. I guess I should have just bought all of them. There we go. That rotor looks trashed. Oh, yeah. Looks like we're definitely going to have to get a new rotor. Let's pull off this brake caliper, however. There we go. And then this rotor, sh uh, let's get the pads first. The rotor should just slide right off. And then let's take a look here. Um, you never know what could be wrong, you know what I mean? Uh, it did say we needed to replace some bushings. 
Uh, but inside of here, there's this thing in here. Oops, uh, damn it. I didn't want to go there. Uh, there's this one part in here. Uh, looks like it's fine. The bearings. Yeah, yeah. Let's put that back in. Yep, looks great. Looks great. Let's put this back in as well. Um, I'm going to say it's okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell, uh, but yeah, that is definitely bad. We're going to add that to our shopping list. Oops. Oops. Now let's get in here and see what else is going on. Now, where's those bad, bad bushings? This looks like it might be one of them. Let's pull it out. Yeah, that definitely looked like a bad bushing here on the cross member. Um, let's take a look at the other one up here. This one does look good. So I don't think we need to worry about that one. And how's the tie rods and everything looking? Well. It all looks good right in through here. The tie rod looks good inner and outer. Okay, let's jump sides. Uh, this bushing does look bad as well. Let's pull it off. The shocks might be bad. I'm not too sure. It's a little bit hard to tell. Uh, these little bushings might be bad as well. I guess I could just replace all of the bushings, but we're not going to. We're not going to. Uh, let's do yank off this tire. And then uh, those shocks look like they might be in bad shape as well. All right, there's that tire. Let's get this caliper off. That rotor definitely looks pretty jacked. Uh, the brake pads. Yeah, I'm hoping in the next car mechanic simulator, instead of making your brake pads just rusty, they need to, like, change the size of them, right? Some people will be riding that stuff down to metal, and it, like, just really screws up your rotors. It puts huge, huge grooves in them. Uh, sometimes it messes them up so bad that they are not even uh, repairable by machining them. Anyway, uh, let's pull off this shock. Uh, that means we're going to have to pull off this little thing here. Forget what that thing is called. Oh, it's a sway bar front end link. That's right. Uh, but yeah, let's pull off the shock. It looks like it's bad, uh, but I can't really tell. So it's on the same condition as that brake thing. And it looks, and that thing was just fine. So let's see. Oh, that thing's fine. Let's put it back on. Now, let's do look at the bushings inside of this lower control arm. Uh, this one looks like it might be good. We're going to take a look at our book here real quick. Okay, we're going to have to do back brakes as well. So, okay, good to know. There's the two rotors. Okay. Okay, we did find everything. Okay. Uh, four bushings, by the way. Uh, we've only found two bushings, so they might be inside of these. Uh, let's just see if we can pull this out. And there's the third one. It could be back bushings as well. Uh, let's just put this one back together. So we got that, that, okay. Uh, that bushing, I think, is going to be fine. So we're going to put this one back on. I bet it's a, a two rear bushings that we need to replace. So we'll do that. There we go. Um, I guess we could put this back on as well, that end link. There we go. There we go. Let's run to the back now. Pull off uh, both tires and check everything out back here. All right. The caliper looks excellent on this one. That brake pad, however. Yeah, see, in real life, I would say this brake pad is good. Um, all you have to do is use it, and, and using it will knock off that rust. But it's pretty positive that it's bad in the game here. Let's look at these bushings now. Uh, it's a little bit hard to see these top ones with the car jacked up so high. Uh, but they do look fine. So bushings is a little bit of a tough one because it could literally be a number of them. All right. So let's go ahead and pull off this other tire real quick. There we go. Let's grab this caliper. Oh, that shock definitely might be bad. I don't know. It's hard to tell. Hard to tell. Let's grab these brake pads. They do look like they're likely in bad shape. Uh, this upper bushing does kind of look... Oh, damn it. Hold on a second. I was going to say this upper bushing looks like it might be in bad shape, but I've seen worse, so I don't think it's... Uh, this one's definitely bad. Let's pull this one out. Yeah, this is definitely a bad bushing. Uh, if this one's bad, the other one might be... 
The other bad one might be on the other side of the car, but over there. Let's pull off this shock, however. No, let's not and say we did. And uh, yeah, we can see it. I'm pretty sure this is the bad one. Excellent, excellent. Okay, let's take a look at the notepad real quick. Disc brakes, those are going to be in the front. All four pads. Ah, damn it. See what I'm talking about with the spark plugs as well? It's my only gripe about this damn game. Anyway, uh, I guess we'll have to replace them all. Let's just go order everything that we need now. I think that is everything. Uh, so we'll head over here to the computer, but we're going to go to our inventory first. We're going to add uh, that bushing, this bushing. We're going to add this brake pad, this brake pad. Uh, we're going to add this rotor, this brake pad. Bushing, bushing, rotor, brake pad. We do need an oil filter. We're going to grab it. And you know what? We've already replaced two of these damn spark plugs. Let's just start with this and then we'll figure the rest of it out. Anyway, did we order our stuff? I don't know. Where's the carts? Oh, I forgot. I don't think this game has a cart, does it? Oh, yeah, it does. No, it doesn't. It doesn't. Never mind. I don't know what the hell I'm talking about. Okay, let's head over to the car part section now. Uh, we need three brake discs. Three of them. Uh, we only need two. I don't know why I have three in my list, but let's just buy both of those. Uh, we need four rubber bushings. That is true. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Four brake pads. That is true as well. And one oil filter. Yeah, yeah. And then let's look at the car status real quick. Yeah, see, 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 see. We've already did the spark plug, but... The one that was bad, we put the new one into a different one and then put... So we're just going to replace all the damn spark plugs. Let's just get two more spark plugs. And same goes with the ignition coils, I think. Um, before we do that, though, let's just put this stuff back together. Uh, we'll put the new rotors up here. The new brake pads. Old caliper. Okay, that looks good, and that looks like that's everything on this side. Uh, let's just go ahead and slap the tire back on. There we go, there we go. Let's jump on over to the other side real quick here. Oh, there's the oil, oil filter. Let's put that on. Bada bing, bada boom. There we go. Uh, let's come back out here and throw this rotor on. The brake pads, of course. The caliper. There we go. There we go. I don't think there's any... Oh, the bushings. I forgot about the damn bushings. Yep. No, I'm not looking for the exhaust, sir. There we go. Here's the bushing. Uh, let's get this one in. And then I think we only had another bushing on the other side. We could put this tire back on. Uh, so we will. There we go. There we go. Let's hop out. Uh, actually, let's hop back in. We need to get this other bushing on. I think it was on this side, right? Right here. Right here it is. Boom. Boom. Alright, let's head to the back now and finish doing the rear end. There it is. Now let's start with the brake pads, of course. The caliper. And before I forget, we're going to delete everything in our notepad. Yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, bushings, uh, bushings. Uh, yep, we have these front bushings here. We're going to put this one on. We might as well just put the tire on. There we go. You know, I was looking here. We got XP or level. What the hell is this blue thing? I don't ever remember seeing that blue thing uh, before. Anyway, let's get this other bush on. Yeah, what is that? Hmm. There we go. Uh, come on out. Let's get the brakes and all this on next. And the tire. There we go. Let's take a look at the car. Uh, the only things we're missing... Mission? No. The only things we're missing is that ignition coil and that spark plug. Uh, because the game is dumb. So we're going to just buy what we're missing. Seems like there is only one spark plug in the game. So we're going to buy two of these, right? Two, I believe. 
and then we need to get ignition coils now there's a couple ignition coils here but we know the one that we had looked like this we had only gotten one of them so we're gonna buy three more just to finish it up completely yeah i kind of sh would i should have just bought them right off the bat i mean technically when working on your car you should be doing that yeah see and i guess i should have looked before anyway we'll just replace these two and then who knows which one we have uh, who knows which one has the good spark plugs in so well we're just gonna pull them all we're gonna pull them all this is definitely the bad one however there we go and if we look at our inventory uh yeah this one of these two was the one that was giving us the business and with the ignition coils it was also one of these two giving us the business these are the old ones that are technically still good it's not part of the thing so anyway anyway i don't need to explain all that let's just go ahead and get everything put in a uh, hundred percent yep there we go i should have been a good mechanic and just replaced them right away but whatever anyway there we go there's all of the ignition coils let's take a look at it now and now all of those parts are good. All we have to do now is uh, refill it, the fluids, and we're going to be ready to rock and roll. So let's uh, do that. I was just thinking, do I have to put the drain plug back in? No, that's not a thing. Anyway, let's fill them all up. Uh, you have to go to unmount a part, which is kind of weird since we're actually adding stuff, but whatever. And there we go. Let's go and back out. Uh, let's shut the hood. It's an ugly, ugly car. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at it. Done and done, done and done, and then done and done. Okay, we're ready to turn this SOB in. Does it tell us anything about how much we're getting paid here? Doesn't look like it. Oh, it does right here. Okay, we're going to get about two grand off this one, it looks like. Let's go ahead and... Uh, finish the order there we go there we go we now have fifty one hundred dollars we now have 51 excellent uh let's go here real quick yeah you know the only damn thing this game is missing in my opinion well not the only thing there's a bunch of things missing in this game uh but there should be a pnl report bro where's my pnl i own this business don't i i'm not just an employee uh no i'm pretty sure i own this shop so where the hell is my PL report, bro? My ledger, you know, profits and loss, my uh, books, you know, where the hell's my books? Because I want to be able to look at like prior jobs and uh, how much money we're making, you know what I mean? So hopefully in the next game, they will add that. Uh, let's take a look at the phone though. See what's the next story mission. Repair parts with a minimum condition, oil change. Good morning, young man. Uh, this engine just kind of shut down suddenly. They got towed here, by the way. And she has no clue what the problem is. So uh, that'll be a fun one. But we're going to save that one for the next one. We have jumped up about two levels in this episode alone. Do we have any points? We do have three points available. I don't know what to start on. There's moving fast. Ability to fix parts from group one. Uh, this would be a good one. Uh, increasing our... our uh, screw speed same with the mounting same with the discounts that's time to examine a part yeah 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 so i'm not too sure where i want to go with this so i'm not i'm not going to do any of it um this stuff all costs cash i believe yeah 15 and 1700 for the car wash the test path a new lift is 2500 salvaging what does that mean as a container equipped with stripping tools near your garage allows Allows to salvage and upgrade parts. Requires expansion. I don't know if I remember the salvaging part. Anyway, what is this? Warehouse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Expansion. Uh, paint shop and the dyno. Okay. Oh, the tablet's pretty cheap. Um, I don't really care. I could just easily walk over to the computer, though. Oh, yeah, and then the onboard diagnostics. I forgot about all these. Electric. Yep, fuel pressure meter. Okay, we don't really need any of this stuff quite yet, I don't think. 
Uh, we'll get it once we actually need it. But we're almost ready to start getting some... We're about ready to unlock the junkyard, so that'll be good. Anyway, that's going to be it for this one. Oh, look, you could actually read this stuff, by the way. Oh, that's great. I don't feel like this had stuff on it in the past. Anyway. Anyway, anyway, I think that's going to be it for this one, you guys. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you guys in another one later on, everybody. Later. Later on.